Hi, my name is Rich Harrington for Adorama TV, and today we're taking a look at the Nikon Coolpix S01, which is an ultra compact camera. How compact is it? Well, it is so compact that you probably didn't realize I've been holding it this whole time. This camera is designed to be small, yet still powerful. It's a 10 megapixel camera, so it's going to get nice big pictures. It does have a three times optical zoom, a digital zoom too, but I'm really only concerned about the optical zoom. And it allows you to really get in there and cover the action. Plus it does full recording at 720p for video. Now, who exactly is this for? If you're a pro, you probably won't need this camera, but this is designed for people who are on the go. It completely fits in a pocket. Very, very small. Just put it in there. It's about the size of a phone, if not even smaller, or perfectly fits into a purse, anything that's small and portable. Now, with that said, I did take it on some professional shoots. I used it behind the scenes. I walked around New York with it at Photo Plus and shot with it. In fact, lots of other people borrowed the camera from me and went shooting with it. They thought it was a lot of fun. It's one of those cameras that's just basically cute, but actually useful and surprisingly powerful. What's nice is, is it's just designed to come out of your pocket and start shooting. It's small enough that you don't even have to think about it. And unlike your phone, if you don't want to run the battery down, or maybe you don't have a smartphone, this thing has its own internal battery with really long life. I was able to pop it in and out and shoot for several days before I had to remember to plug it in and charge. It also has internal storage. So what you're going to see with this camera is that you don't regularly have to do things like remember to empty it. It is shooting JPEG, 10 megapixel JPEG, but what's nice with that is that it's got beefy internal storage. Lots of stuff is going to fit on this internal drive. And it weighs practically nothing, 3.4 ounces. Now, some of you are going to be concerned. I'm going to drop that camera. I dropped this demo camera a lot. I think I dropped it on the New York street about six times. Even though it's all shiny and silver, it didn't scratch up. The touchscreen LCD on the back didn't break. Surprisingly durable camera. Although I would highly recommend that you actually attach the strap that comes with the camera and you keep that attached because it's very lightweight, very easy to lose slip of, but that's okay. It's really designed to be compact. Now, it does have some very easy auto modes, and it will switch between the different mode it needs to for shooting. It also includes advanced features like exposure compensation, so you can adjust if a scene is really dark or really light so that the auto mode is refined. It includes fill flash and even some filter effects that can be applied, and you can use these on the images when you're shooting or, better yet, after the fact. I like running it afterwards so I could change my mind. And some of these include the ability to soften out the skin tones or do some of the popular miniature or toy effects that you see on a lot of the Instagram type photos. Works really, really well. All right, for that 150 bucks, this is a complete kit. You do get the fact that you get the camera body, a strap, the USB cable, an AC charger, but remember, it is a USB style cable, so you could plug this directly into the computer to transfer your images or even charge it off of the USB port. And it does come with a one year warranty. Now, one of the things I liked about this camera was how fast it was at focusing. I shot in lots of different lighting conditions as well as tough situations with people moving around on the street. This camera did a great job of capturing action. Even more impressive was how well it did auto focusing on video did a really, really nice job in low light shooting for video. And I took it to typical situations like you're seeing here, took the kids to Chuck E. Cheese. Hey, this is the type of camera that you would use this for. This is totally a mom or a dad camera, a little weekend camera, probably more accurately a mom camera, but lots of guys still found this camera useful too. The small size makes it very easy to carry in a pants pocket, inside a jacket, wherever you need that small camera that's gonna be good for shooting stills or action. I also find this small form factor useful when I'm doing things like sports. Now, let's talk a little bit about the lens itself. A very, very high quality lens. It is a three times optical zoom, which is nice. There is a digital zoom, but I recommend you just stick with the optical zoom. It's gonna range between 4.1 and 12.3 millimeters. But what I want you to realize, while those numbers sound small, it's the equivalent of about 30 to 85 millimeters if you were shooting on the 35 millimeter format. So that's quite versatile. I'm going to let you cover a wide range of scenes. The f-stop is also surprisingly fast, 3.3 to 5.9, up there with many type of lenses that are on entry-level DSLR kits. And the ISO sensitivity worked out really well, going all the way up to 1600. So this is perfectly fine for shooting in low-light type events outdoors at night, parties, social scenes, indoor lighting, 
rehearsals, sporting events, those sorts of stuff. And a nice fast shutter, up to two thousandth of a second, which is going to work really great for capturing fast action. And we can go ahead and adjust that shutter speed up to a second if necessary to capture in lower light. Now the screen itself is really cool. It's a two and a half inch screen back here. What I really liked is that it's actually a touch screen. This makes it really easy as we're doing things to control. Now it has anti-reflective coating here, but notice I could just swipe through the pictures. And this makes it easy to see things. Now I can also take advantage of controls here and do things like delete to the trash. If I touch and hold, I get the ability to mark a favorite or choose to delete an image. And you see we can go through. We can also just hold and quickly cycle through all the images that are available. And this is nice. It cuts down the number of buttons and makes it easier to find things. If you do get to a video clip, you actually have the ability to watch the video playback right on the screen itself. And a decent internal speaker makes it easy to hear the content. All right, so when you're shooting with this camera, what are your options? Well, for stills, JPEG, no surprise there, but the video files are very high quality. It's shooting AVC, MPEG-4, H.264 type video. Very, very common format. In fact, the same format used by many pro cameras. And this is gonna be very versatile, totally compatible with software like iMovie, Windows Movie Maker, Premiere Elements. It is 720p video at 30 frames per second. Not a lot of choices there, but completely compatible and going to work great for doing things like posting to Facebook or sharing. And it does still look good on the family television. 720p is plenty of resolution for the TV in your living room. The images themselves are 10 megapixels. These are nice big prints. These are easily going to give you 10 inch prints if necessary. Going to make it super easy to use this camera to capture important moments. You will find scene modes built in here. The camera is generally going to auto select those modes for you. But you have things like dealing with backlight, close up, landscape, shooting at night, both landscape and portrait, as well as traditional portrait. What's also nice is that some of these filters are going to be intelligently turned on. Things like softening of the skin or the noise reduction. So it does a great job. These portraits are going to look really good. I like how the skin softening works. And I think this does a nice job of smoothing out some of the blemishes. Just makes people look better. It also has things like smile timer and blink warning. So it's going to look for things like when the eyes are open or automatically fix red eye. This camera is totally designed to make it easy to get great pictures of your family, your friends, and your kids. So with that in mind, it's a nice small camera, easily fits in the pocket, easily fits inside of a suit coat pocket, a jacket pocket, a purse. If you're looking for an affordable camera that's highly portable without the need to worry about where are the batteries, where's the memory card, I think you'll really like to check out this new camera from Nikon. For Adorama TV, my name's Rich Harrington. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.